Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today Ryan and I are headed out to Colorado for a ski trip with my family. My brother lives in Colorado, so that's where we're going. We are going to Pagosa Springs where he lives and we are going to be skiing at Wolf Creek. So Ryan and I, we're leaving here from Dallas in a few hours and then the rest of my family is flying from Georgia and my brother lives in Colorado. So we are headed out there for a week long ski trip with my family. Every single one of my siblings is coming, which hasn't happened, I think, since like 2018, like our last big family vacation. So it should be a good time. I've only ever skied once and it was fake snow. And so I'm really excited to actually ski like real snow on a real mountain. I'm really excited. So, so is Ryan. We're both super pumped. So today's Saturday. We're flying into Albuquerque. My family's not getting into Albuquerque till like 10 p.m. tonight. So we're all just gathering at an Airbnb in Albuquerque tonight. And then tomorrow we'll drive to Pagosa Springs and get to our cabin and unpack and all that stuff. Heidi is traveling with us. This will be her second trip second time flying but she did so good the last time that she flew so she's coming with us so we've basically eaten everything here that we can so I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then we're gonna head out in a few hours and I'm gonna take you guys along for the whole trip our cabin praise the lord it took us like an hour to actually get into the cabin because only my mom had like like she had never received a code for like the lock box to get in and when none of us have like cell service so we were trying to like call her but only like ryan's phone is actually working with service and then they wouldn't like give us the code because like Ryan's not Donna, like my mom. And so then I had to be on the phone and act like I was my mom to like get the code. Huh. So we have two cars for like the whole trip for my family. So like some of my family is out getting groceries and then me, Ryan, and one of my other sisters, we were here trying to like unload suitcases, get into the cabin. It took us an hour to even like get in and then unload all the suitcases, but we're in. This is our bedroom that we snagged for the week. I will try to give you a little tour of the place. So this is our bedroom. Most of the bedrooms besides the master is downstairs. So there's bedroom back there, little like living area, bedroom. And then there's a connecting bedroom. There's another little bedroom in here that goes through this one. So basically everyone besides my parents, we're all gonna be down here essentially. This bedroom with the little bunk beds, bathroom in here. Hello. Heidi, what you think? Okay, this is the little back back porch area off of um, the like out the door of the downstairs. This is our lovely view by the river, the mountains. So peaceful. Good morning. It is officially day one, so it's Monday, and it's like 5:45 right now. I have been up since 2.40 a.m. Could not go back to sleep, so today might be an interesting day on the slopes because <laughs> I will be tired. That's like two nights in a row of like five hours of sleep. I normally get a solid eight hours every night, but 
we are getting all of our snacks, ski gear, everything ready. My brother is picking us up at 5.30 to be at the ski resort at 7 a.m. when rentals open, because today is a holiday, it's President's Day. So my brother works at the ski slope and was thinking that it might be a really busy day. So we're getting there at 7 a.m. right when the rentals open and the ski lift to get some stuff open to make sure we can actually get in. So it's an early morning today, but it's supposed to be sunny today. Hopefully we can still have a good chill day of skiing, but today's day one, we're getting ready and I'm gonna take you guys with us. All right, we got our boots. We got our ski rentals, our ski passes. We are waiting till eight for the lift tickets to open up, or like the ticketing office to open up to get our lift tickets, but we got our boots and our skis and all of our rentals. So we're just waiting for the actual ski resort to actually open up. But all is well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard duck. Ryan's ready. <laughs> Do you want to be in it? <laughs> Say hi, Becca. Hi, Becca. <laughs> this is your first YouTube appearance. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you ready? Let's do it. Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? We can take a ride. We can take it slow. No, we'll lose my love. We home. And we're back from day one. All right, we're back from the slopes. I'm shredding. I'm sitting on the ground with Heidi so that she eats because she's been at home all day. And people like my other family members have been kind of in and out. But Heidi, in her old age, really wants her mom and dad above anyone else. And so. <laughs> She didn't really eat any of her breakfast or any food all day. So when we got home, she like has been scarfing down her food and drinking water. So she's just a little bit peculiar, which is why we brought her in the first place. Cause I feel like as she got older, she like developed separation anxiety. I don't know. But skiing was good. I got forced down <laughs> like a blue section amongst a lot of greens. There was like one like hill that was technically a blue and I got peer pressured into it when I didn't want to do it. But my sister was like, oh, it's easy, you can do it. Like, no, it's not that bad. It doesn't look that scary. And I busted my butt twice trying to go down it and then I just shimmied, shimmied down it. So I'm mostly stuck to the greens today and then we're gonna go back. We're hoping to ski three days this week. So we're gonna go back tomorrow on Tuesday and then we might take a break on Wednesday and then ski Thursday just depending on how our knees are feeling and legs and bodies. Last night, Ryan and I both woke up at like 2.45 in the morning and like could not go back to sleep. So our alarm was set for 5.30 a.m. but we were both up at like 2.45 and could not go back to sleep. So both of us are just hoping for a really good night's sleep tonight and be ready for tomorrow. But today was a lot of fun and tonight we're just doing dinner and hanging out with the fam. So I will see you guys tomorrow.
Good morning, it's day two. We are getting ready to go ski again. Ryan and I and one of my sisters, we are gonna go this morning with my brother and his girlfriend. And so he's coming to pick us up. So we're getting ready to go. My brother should be here in like 10 minutes to pick us up. I am basically a walking vending machine. <laughs> I keep my water, my snacks, everything in my pockets, but it worked out very nicely yesterday to have everything on me. So. That's what we're getting ready to do. Ski day number two. Shorter too. Like, <laughs> we were doing that first stint, and I got the bottom of the like, oh my god, there's like. Sorry, so I never much. do it, so I like forget exactly what it's like. We're going to take a break. Taking a lunch break. Cheers. <laughs> so Ryan has done oh. a lot of blues. He went down one. <laughs> that was pretty tough, apparently. Yeah, it was all moguls. It was all moguls. It was like an ungroomed blue through the trees, right? Yeah, well, sort the trees, of. Trees, moguls. He fell a lot, but he did it. I've been practicing my greens and picking up speed and all that stuff, getting used to my turns. Where are they? Right here, base camp. So now we're taking a lunch break. Gonna eat, rest our legs. My thighs are burning a little bit after doing one of the the last screens a few times, but I'm gonna take a break, eat some lunch, and then keep going. All right, we're finished with our break. We're getting ready to go down some more slopes, but I wanted to show this view up here. It's so pretty. All right, get ready to keep skiing. Woohoo! All right, I just finished up a green. I think this is Ryan. It's Ryan coming down here, I think. I did a green, Ryan split off into the blue. Here it comes. <laughs> Woohoo! How was it? Guess what Treasures is? A bunch of moguls. Moguls, God. I thought I saw you doing those and I got out my camera yeah. and I was like, that can't be him, surely. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> know that. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I thought it looked like your jacket, like that color. Oh, and I yeah. was like, I don't Where think was that's... It right there? Yeah. yeah, right there. Those yeah, moguls. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? I didn't know that. I thought you knew what you were doing. Guys, I just did my first blue. I'm winded and my legs are tired, but I did it and I did not fall. I'm so excited. It's the first blue I've ever done. Woohoo! Here come my nieces and nephews. Woohoo! We made it back home. I think the last thing that I filmed was watching some of my nieces and nephews come down, but we did a few more runs with them, going down the greens with them. So anyways, we're back and we're just chilling. Hey, Ryan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heidi's with us. She's at my feet, but we made it. I'm so proud of my blue. My strategy with skiing it's like i don't mind working my way up to things but i like to work my way up to things so like on the map of the like mountain there are like dotted green lines that are like your easy greens and then there's solid green lines for like the normal greens and then like dotted blue lines solid blue lines for like your blues and stuff so yesterday i kind of did a lot of the like the dotted green lines and a little bit of some of the solid green ones. And then today I went, I tried to do some today just over and over and over and over again. That made me kind of turn quicker and like get a little bit more used to picking up speed. So once I had done that one about like maybe five, six times today, I kind of felt okay-ish about one of the blues that Ryan thought I could do. But I did have to stop like halfway down because my thighs were on fire and I was like so out of breath. <laughs> I was like, I'm dying. So I kind of stopped like halfway down the blue and they were like, okay, <laughs> like finished it out. But I did it 
and I didn't fall, so it was a good day. I think we're taking a rest day tomorrow, so on Wednesday, I don't think we're gonna ski and regroup Thursday. And then depending on how we're feeling, Ryan and I might try to go back Friday. We were thinking we at least wanted to ski three days this week, but we might try to ski four depending on how we're feeling or like what else we wanna try while we're here. But that's kind of my little recap for our ski day. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and Ryan and I are still feeling healthy and feeling good. And so I think our plan is to do two more days of skiing. So we're gonna ski today and then hopefully ski tomorrow as well. So I'm just sitting here drinking my protein shake and we already like packed our sandwiches, packed our snacks and whatnot. And my brother is gonna come pick us up in like 15 minutes or so. And then we're gonna have another ski day. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We're at the tippy top. We've done a couple of blues already today, so we're getting better. About to go back down some blues. Show me love. Show me love. Date. It's lunchtime, so we're getting ready to take a break and eat lunch. I've been doing blues pretty much all morning, and which is really exciting. I have the only thing is my last run I did wipe out a little bit and it hurt and it kind of tweaked my left knee. My right knee was hurting like day one, and then I tweaked my left knee just a second ago. So I'm hoping to walk away with no injuries. It's kind of fine when I'm walking, but twice today I've tweaked my left knee it like bends inward towards my other knee and it kind of I can feel it like pulling something in the knee but I've been doing blues and I'm really proud I didn't know if I would do blues like on this trip because I didn't know what to expect for like how they rank all the slopes and all the runs like I didn't know if I would stay on greens and that would be hard enough or if I would get to progress up to blues and today I warmed up on the greens and then we've been mostly doing blues all day. So I'm feeling proud, but I'm waiting for the others to finish one more run, and then we're gonna eat lunch. Okay, we are back. We're back home. I'm taking Heidi out. But I think the last thing I mentioned was we were at lunch, we were about to get lunch. So I had kind of tweaked my leg before lunch. And so we went back on some greens to, for me to just kind of warm it up again. And then went down another blue and I fell again, tweaked the same left leg, left knee. And I got up, we were going down a blue that has like, it's like two long steeper stretches with like there's like a little section in between that'll kind of level you out before doing the second like long stretch. And so I was going down the first stretch, fell, got up, finished it fine, finished the first section. And then Ryan and my brother were waiting for me at like the kind of the flatter part before you go, before you go down like the second steep half of the blue. And so they were like, are you good? And I was like, yeah. But then like right as I started trying to go down the second, section like the second half of that blue every time I tried to like turn left my left knee like twisting it left I got like shooting pain like a really sharp shooting pain up it every single time so I only did like a few turns I think I maybe made it like three turns and then I kind of stopped and I was like oh like I can't make it down the mountain doing this and so my brother was like, you good? And I was like, uh, <laughs> like I'm getting like some sharp pains behind my knee. And so then I just like had to like slowly pizza 
down like the rest of it. And so then I wasn't sure, I was like maybe, so I took my skis off at the bottom and kind of like stretched out my hamstrings, tried to stretch out my knee for a bit because I was gonna take a break and make sure that my knee wasn't like royally screwed up. So that was kind of the end of the ski day was I just kind of chilled for like maybe an hour and a half, like hour, hour and a half. And I hung out with like my mom, one of my sisters, like they weren't skiing. And then we had one of my nieces and one of my nephews that are little, they're like four. And so I just kind of hung out with them for a little bit. So tomorrow's Friday. I know Ryan for sure would like to go. I would like to go again. My only thing is I don't want to like pay for the lift ticket, pay for the rentals and go like warm up on a green and then have my knee kind of be hurting like right from the get go. So we shall see. What are you doing already? You've been funny. Okay. <laughs> oh no, no. day so today's friday it's our last day i think everyone pretty much plans to go skiing again i'm not gonna lie my knees don't feel great in like behind my knees and like the front of my knees i don't really know how much skiing i'm going to be able to do today or if i will be able to do any blues I think I'm still going to try and rent everything and get my lift ticket, do some greens this morning. And then Ryan wants to try going down to black today. And I think that there's a blue where I could see him try to come down the black. So like, if anything, I might try to do that this morning and like try to watch Ryan and then like call it a day. But I don't know, but it's our last day. I'm gonna try to make the most of it. I'm really proud of like everything I've like done. I've done pretty much all the blues. I did all of those like yesterday before my knee started to kill me, but I'm very excited. I'm looking at this super pretty view. It's been a fun trip. We got one more day left, so that's all for now. This is my view, taking out Heidi. <laughs> it's the sunshine love. <laughs> I love the sunshine. Lunchtime. Finally got an Olipop today. Ryan just finished a couple blacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My knee is definitely screwed. So we're just going to go down a couple more greens. Um, and I've basically just been going so slow because I think one more fall and something's snapping, something's going wrong. So we're just gonna have a leisurely last few greens and I'm just gonna film a little bit. I'm gonna go super slow. I'm gonna film a little bit of the scenery, really take it all in. So we're just gonna cruise very slowly. Let's go. Ryan just hopped in the shower. 
I've mentioned this in previous videos that like after Christmas, I think with all the extra like eating out and sugar and all this stuff, my body has kind of been inflamed a little bit, meaning my asthma has been inflamed as well. And so for this trip, I really wanted to make sure that I felt good the whole time. So I haven't had any like dessert or sweets or like anything fun on vacation, but today's the last day and I've been feeling great and we're obviously not gonna like ski anymore. So I'm thinking that Ryan and I might go to City Market in town for the King Arthur gluten-free, dairy-free brownie mix. And I've made those before and they're so good and they taste just like normal brownies. And so as a last night hoorah, Ryan and I might go get some brownie mix, but we're back, we're just chilling. I also got this cute little crew neck while we were there. So you can't really tell, it's kind of like a mossy greenish blue, but the lighting is kind of funky in here, but I just got a little crew neck with the Wolf Creek logo and stuff. So we got that, Ryan got a shirt earlier when we went in the gift store. So I'm probably gonna change. I'm gonna wait for Ryan to get out. And then I think we're gonna go get some brownies and then we'll have dinner and then we'll pack and be on the road tomorrow. So that's the plan for now. All right, we're on our way to go get me some desserts. The rental place that we're staying at didn't really have a pan, like an eight by eight or a nine by 13 pan that would work for brownies. So I'm just gonna go get some like enjoy life chocolate and maybe just a couple little fun treats so that's what we're doing now got the goods so for dessert they had cotto ice cream here so we're gonna do some chocolate ice cream tonight and then i got myself a little enjoy life chocolate bar for tomorrow kind of for the plane and a little travel same with these so this was the only like small size of any kind of like snack because I normally can't like eat the plain snacks or anything like that either. So I went ahead and got this and my little, my little chocolate for the plane, but we got the Cotto ice cream for tonight. So this Keep is left on to Pagosa Street. <laughs> We went from freezing cold skiing to like 80 degrees in Texas in February. But we made it. All right, we have officially made it back home. So we had such a great trip. The flight was good. Heidi does really well on flights, which is so nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.